a hotel nightmare. It was disgusting. <laughs> it was nasty. What would you do if you found roaches and other critters in bed with you inside the hotel room you paid for? I'm Justin Carter. This is TSR Investigates. In the South, it's not unusual to see insects crawling around, but for guests at a hotel just outside of Atlanta, things are out of control. And now the county health department is getting involved. It just was not a good experience. All Jaleesa Harris Rakes wanted to do is escape for the weekend. She's a nurse and wanted a weekend getaway. So she booked a two day stay at the Wyndham Garden Hotel in Duluth, Georgia. As we're just sitting up, you know, watching TV or whatever, we started to notice that bugs were everywhere. How many did you see? Where did you see them? I will say there was probably maybe four or five roaches in the bathroom crawling up the wall. Like when you turn on the light, um, they were just crawling up the shower wall. On the walls, the bathroom floors, the baseboards. We were just like, this is disgusting. But then I believe once he moved the dresser or whatever that is that holds the phone, yeah. they were crawling back there and then once the phone dropped, there were more crawling out of the phone themselves. She called the front desk. She said that we needed to contact the email the manager. She says the representative didn't offer a refund, only an opportunity to switch rooms. They should care about your stay while you're there. And so it, it, it makes me angry. It makes me very angry because at any given time I could have taken that back to my house. And now what? My house is infested with roaches. She paid over $200 for the weekend, but a few weeks earlier, Tila McBride and her family paid over $1,000 for their stay. They were in town for a wedding. I go to use the restroom and I'm like, is that a roach? Roaches in the bathroom, a bug crawling in her mom's bed, stains all over the sheets. So I call down to the front desk and the lady's like, so do you want to leave? She says it was so early in the morning that that wasn't an option. So again, they tried to move her to a different room. This is room 519 that they're offering to move us to. And there's dead roaches in the closet. First thing I noticed in the other room is there's like dead roaches in the corner. And it literally looked like they sprayed and then swept them into the corner. Their four day stay was cut short. They wanted to check out and get out of there. She's like, you can leave, but we're not giving you a refund. I said, so why would I have to pay for, I paid for like four days and I'm leaving on the first day. Why would I not be refunded for the days that I didn't stay? She's like, because you're choosing to leave. I tried to help you. She booked through Priceline and customer service sent this to her. It's an email that says, quote, we understand that you checked out early at the hotel and requested to get a refund. We have contacted the hotel regarding your request. However, we are unable to obtain approval from the hotel to provide a refund. Therefore, your reservation remains non-changeable and non-refundable, end quote. So we wanted to know how bad it really was. So we booked a room ourselves. We searched the room top to bottom, looked through sheets, underneath tables, looked through drawers. The good news is that I didn't find any centipedes or roaches or any type of bed bug in this specific room. But what I did find behind this bed board is uh, it was a lot of trash, debris. You can see hair back there. There was also a lot of stains here on the bed sheets of this bed, as well as some um, some stains on the baseboards. There's some cracks in the foundation. Clearly, this is an older hotel. Certainly doesn't scream the Wyndham either. We went to the hotel staff and started asking questions. This is the operations manager, Romy Patel. We don't, we haven't had any issues uh, recently. Uh, we get them time in and time out. So. Okay. There have been several reports though. There was uh, a complaint back, I think September 29th. Um, mm -hmm. We talked to another woman in the beginning of September about there being roaches. Um, it seems like you're renting out rooms yeah. that um, have roaches and people can't get their money back. Well, we're not sure that what they're saying is true, but um, you know, we have to go by the policies of the reservation. Sometimes if it comes in through a third party booking site, we're not allowed to make any changes to those reservations. So then they'll have to contact the company them directly. Battelle told me that being the summertime in the Southeast, it's bound to happen, especially with guests coming and going. He said that pest control comes on a monthly basis. Company policy aside, do you think it's fair though if people are canceling their trip because they're roaches that they can't get their money back? Uh, we work on an individual basis. If it, we have to see the type of reservation and then the booking. 
policies that they booked with. So okay. um, it's just that on an individual basis, we can't speak generally for everyone. We requested updated inspection records in the Gwinnett County Health Department. They got on it immediately. The next day, they were out inspecting the building, in fact. Other than observations for moldy ice machines and ventilation issues, the inspector, they did note that Orkin pest control documents were presented in the last 18 months, and the premises was free of pests and rodents at the time. They did also note, though, that the facility needs to replace stained mattress pads and ensure that floors in all rooms are cleaned. Not only are people still staying there and it's not sanitary, but they still have this partnership with Pipeline that has it worded that, you know, you can't cancel, you can't refund. It makes me angry and very frustrated that they don't they don't care. This is a reminder to check and double check those hotel reviews before you book your reservation. Also check the cancellation policy too. Both these guests, they booked through that third party website called Priceline and both were declined because their reservations were either non-changeable or non-refundable. Also keep in mind that since the hotel says that both these guests did cancel, they're stuck footing the bill. Now we did reach out to the Wyndham Garden corporate offices. We're still waiting to hear back on the specific policy and why they implement it. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter.